Competing in an Ironman is an incredible challenge, something one North Idaho man never thought he would do. That is until his eight-year-old son suddenly died and he needed a way to cope with the loss. KXLY 4's Katie Curry has that story. It's a journey Brian Langford never imagined he could do. It's taper time. Swim 2.4 miles, bike 112 miles, and run 26.2 all to become an Ironman. I've been pretty serious about it for about 18 months. But it's a journey that started more than five years ago. Since he was two months old, Brian's son Connor experienced epileptic seizures almost daily. Connor was very severe and he had, um, at one point when he was having an EEG, he had over 700 in just one day. In 2011, at just eight years old, Connor died from sudden unexpected death in epilepsy. A few months after he passed away, we actually discovered that there's monitors available. We'll pick up on seizure movements and alert a caretaker. Monitors that could have saved Connor's life. For Brian and his wife, it was a devastating discovery. There was only one way Brian could cope with the pain. Never been a runner unless somebody threw a ball. And uh, that, was, that was my time to be with him. With every step and eventually every mile, Brian found motivation to help other families who have children with epilepsy and just one more way to keep his son's memory alive. It was just a total ham. Huge movie buff and especially Herbie the Love Bug. My tri gear is a little on the old side compared to most of the folks and I, I think that's kind of a tie-in to Herbie. Your heart's what really matters. It's been a long five years since Connor's death and a grueling 18 months of training. But on Sunday, when Brian crosses the finish line, Connor will be in his heart. It's been a very spiritual journey for me. My long runs leading up to Ironman, in fact, I go down to the cemetery and, and visit him. He's buried just a mile from the finish line, which is extremely symbolic. Um, of being able to reach him and get back to him and uh, that's going to make Sunday that much more special.